indices you're going to do these examples is 1 2 3 4 and 5 so we do the first example so we're basically looking for cube root of 27 and cube root of 125 so we can just leave the minus sign in the front so it's cube root of 27 and also cube root of 125 so minus sign here cube root of 27 is 3 and cube root of 125 is 5. So to the power third means cube root. Here we can divide one term by the other, so we rewrite this as x to the power half divided by x to the power minus root now because we're dividing so we can subtract the bottom power from the top so it's half minus the another minus root so we get x to the power half plus one quarter which is equal to x to the power three quarters so that is the answer is a fourth root then is cube or we'll take the cube then take the fourth root but leave this answer as it is next example now we have to solve this equation 5 to the power x minus 1 equal to 625 now the left hand side has base number 5 and we have to change 625 into the base number 5 so you can find the prime factors of 625 so 5 goes into it then the other number is 1 to 5 then we find the prime factors of this then we carry on now we finish so therefore 5 to the power x minus 1 is equal to these prime factors with 4 of them 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 which is same as writing 5 to the power 4 now because we have the same base number so the base number cancels out so all we left with x minus 1 equal to 4 and we solve it therefore x is 5 this example same thing again we have 3 to the power x plus 4 equal to 9 now the left hand side has base number 3 so we have to change 9 into base number 3 so it's 2 prime factors is 3 times 3 so therefore 3 to the power x plus 4 is equal to 3 times 3 so it's 3 squared now the base number cancels out and we're left with x plus 4 equal to 2 now we subtract 4 from both sides so we get x equal to minus 2 now we solve this equation so x to the power 3 over 2 we take minus 64 to the other side so it's equal to 64 
now the power is a fraction so we have to get rid of it so what we do first to get rid of 2 from the bottom so we multiply by 2 if you are doing this we have to do the same thing here initially the power is 1 here so then we have to multiply 1 like we did here by 2 so now your 2 disappeared here so you left with x to the power 3 and this side you've got 64 to the power 2 then to get rid of this 3 so we're going to multiply the powers by one third and we do the same thing here now left hand side is just x to the power 1 right hand side we have x to the power sorry, 64 to the power 2 thirds now we know 2 thirds means take the cube root first then you square it so the cube root of 64 is 4 then you square it so therefore the x is equal to 16 so go back to this question x to the power 3 over 2 equal to 64 because 3 there, when you go to the other side, that means it comes 1 over 3 as a power, so that means take the cube root. So we can write that as x to the power half, take the cube root, which is 4. Now this means square root. So when you square both sides, so you get x equal to 16.